builders this is Terry from tjtrue.com and uh, before I get into this video uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get more information from me because that's what you want right maybe okay maybe not but let's get on with this video um, this video is about today today is Black Friday uh, November 29th 2019 I actually have to look at my calendar for that date uh, cause I, you know, mentally disabled, uh, sometimes, but it is Black Friday today. And one of the most important things that I want to think about today is what you can do with your money. <laughs> what you can do with your money is you don't have to boycott Black Friday. Like, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Yes, I know that black people have a spending power over a trillion and a half dollars, a lot of money in America right now a trillion and a half but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't spend some of that what that does mean is that you should spend some of that with the people who would benefit the most which is people who look like me and you and that's not to say that whoever is watching this who isn't black doesn't deserve to have uh, financial success that is um, I think it's everybody's, everybody should be obsessed with having some type of generational wealth, but when it comes to black people who have been historically disenfranchised and, um, more affected by poverty and poverty society issues, I, I think that it's up to us <clears throat> to support each other. So instead of saying, I'm not leaving my house on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, um, Think about what you want and find a black business that sells it and get it from them. And yes, I know it might be like 10% more expensive on their Black Friday than it would be on a Black Friday somewhere else. But I want you to think about it this way. Bigger com companies like white-owned companies and, and corporations, they have the money to offset the cost. You know what I mean? They have the money to buy in bulk that would make everything cheaper for you. They have the money to uh, get their shipping at discounted rates. Um, smaller owned black companies don't have that luxury. They need your support so that they can get big enough to have that luxury. You know what I mean? So let's do a little bit of supporting this Black Friday. I am not buying anything today, um, but that's also because I'm, I'm extremely cheap. Uh, I don't like to say cheap, frugal, parsimonious. I am thrifty. I don't like to buy anything at all. Last thing I bought was um, this dress. And uh, that was on an emergency situation because I needed something to wear at the exact same moment. And there was a store right across the street. But point of the matter is, is spend your money where it is most likely to affect your future. And where it's most likely to affect your future is your children's friends and your friends and their friends, the people that you network, with those are the people who are most likely to provide you with opportunities for investment and income. And those are also the people who are most likely to offer your children those same opportunities and their children and those partnerships. Uh, those are the things that you wanna be looking forward to and those are the things you wanna invest in. And so there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting in your car on Cyber Monday and going up to the local black uh, business and spending a little bit of money with them. Get in to know them. We we love each other. Like, I don't care what the media says or what um, society is trying to force you to believe. We love each other. So we appreciate each other. And we like to help and be helped in return. Make those connections. Start that network. Be that change. And that's all I have to say.